Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Police in Alameda, California are investigating an incident at a youth basketball game where one 13-year-old player stomped on an opposing player's head. The incident was captured on video between youth teams Peyton's Place and Tamakbo United, a team made up of Filipino-American children. One of the players on Tamakbo United, identified to ABC7 San Francisco as the son of Eva and Roderick Gingab, was the victim during a loose ball situation. He was down on the floor and this kid just came and just stomped on him and on his head, said Evan Gingab. You could clearly see the size of his shoe on his face. My son suffered a concussion for the first time he played basketball. The parents say that their son is currently in concussion protocol and continues to deal with headaches stemming from this incident. Meanwhile, the family of the boy who did the stomping claim that he was standing up for his teammate. He believed his teammate was kicked and punched in the loose ball situation. The kid who stomped his opponent is now also being cyberbullied by adults online, say his parents. The parents also say that an organizer for the game told their son to leave the gym immediately after the incident. Peyton's Place says the boy is seeking help to control his emotions and he is not playing with the program at this time, according to ABC7. They added, the behavior that was exhibited by our player is not acceptable and is being taken seriously. Coaches from both sides told ABC7 that they've played each other multiple times in the past few years and both believe that race was not a factor. Police say this is an ongoing investigation after the Gingabs filed a report. When Alameda police conclude their inquiry, it'll be taken to the Alameda County District Attorney to determine if any action should be taken. If we don't say anything right now, this kid will think it's okay to do it because he's young. He thinks that walking away from this situation is okay, and it's not okay, said Gingab. 